Welcome, Thomas fans, to another wonderful day on Sodor. And welcome, too, to my good friend, Stan. What are we looking at today, Stan? Well, Nigel, we'll be looking at a small selection of the accidents and near crashes that happen on the railway here on Sodor. Exciting stuff. You know, it always amazes me, Stan, how so many things can go wrong on such a small railway. Well, well it may be a small railway, Nigel, but it has many engines. It's like the saying, you know, too many cooks in the kitchen spoil the broth. And, of course, too many engines in the kitchen won't be making an omelette without breaking some eggs. Do you like omelette, Stan? No. Me either. Let's get back to the show and look at some of these exciting highlights, shall we? Yes, well, here's Hero working hard as usual, totally unaware that he's picked up some extra cargo in the form of a giant globe. Doesn't look happy, does he, Stan? You could almost say he looks like he has the weight of the world on his shoulders. Oh, and the globe has smacked straight into the signal box, Stan. And there's young Simon the signal man, scared out of his wits. Eric and Sylvie's youngest, Stan. Lovely lad. As I suspected, the ball is rolling along the main line, heading for trouble. You don't know Eric and Sylvie, Stan? It's stopped right in front of the tunnel, and here comes someone. It looks like James, Nigel. Oh, my! James has bumped that globe with his head. It's out of this world. Well, here, Nigel, we can see our two favourite engines pushing a long line of freight cars. But if we pause the picture for a second, can you tell me what's wrong with this setup? There, uh, it, it, I don't know. No, don't tell, don't tell no, me. Don't tell me. Don't tell cut, me. Sorry. The engines are at the top of a hill with no engine or brake van at the front to slow them down. I said not to tell me. Oh, and there they go. What's going to happen next? Well, I think we all know what's going to happen. They're going to have a crash. They are going to have a crash. Yes, and poor Stephen will have to move quickly to get away from this one-away train. And look at Stephen go. That's why they call him the Rocket Stand Capow. But now we turn our attention back to James, the number five red engine on the railway. Yes, now James likes to boast about looking the most splendid, doesn't he? But he does get messy from time to time. And let's have a look, see what happens uh, here. He's approaching that puddle. Oh, oh. strike one. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, oh. Yeah. Strike two, yeah. Strike three, and you're out. Oh, poor James doesn't know what to do. Here's a thought, Stan. What if we didn't have any crashes or accidents on Sodor? Would it be a wonderful world? Well, actually, Nigel, well, in I my think... eyes, Stan, it would be an uneventful world. So as long as no one gets hurt, let's keep those crashes coming, eh? Crash, bang, what a, what a picture, what a photograph. Goodbye. Steady, steady, steady.